Hello everyone, this is Sebastiano of CodyHouse.co. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set your spacing system in SCSS using the CodyHouse Spacing Editor. Okay, so this tool allows you to uh, create a spacing scale and to set responsive rules to take care of responsiveness uh, for your spacing values in a very smart way. And I'm going to show you how in, in a second. Okay, so we are looking at uh, the tool and as you can see, uh, the, the interface is quite, quite simple. So you have a mm, visual representation of your spacing scale, which you can modify using uh, the tools here in the sidebar. And once you are happy with uh, your spacing scale and you have set a few um, responsive rules as well, you can uh, uh, save the changes and uh, copy the code and paste it into your spacing file of the Kodi House framework. So you have to replace this content here with the, the code generated using the spacing tool. Okay, perfect. Now, first of all, what is a spacing scale? The spacing scale is a, is a set of um, harmonious nonlinear values obtained uh, combining two, uh, two values, two variables. The space unit, which in this case is 1EM, and a multiplier that we are calling uh, space ratio. So by default we are applying the Fibonacci sequence, but you can change this value and you can set other values. And as you can see right here, the scale changes. So it's affected and it's affected by these uh, two values because if we uh, take back, if we go back to the spacing file and we check how we generate the, the, the spacing scale. So if we take a look at the code behind the spacing scale, you can see we are, um, we are basically multiplying uh, the ratio by the space unit. So the space unit, the space unit is injected into all of the, uh, the spacing variables. Therefore, if I change this value, they are all affected, as you can see. And same goes for the uh, ratio. Uh, okay, for the moment, I'm sticking with the 1EM and uh, the Fibonacci sequence as well. Right, now, um, once you have generated a spacing scale, uh, you have to be uh, aware of how this is going to affect your components. Now, uh, we're looking at the accordion component. If we check the code of this component, you can see that on the, uh, for example, the accordion header element, which is, by the way, this one, we have applied a, a padding equal to variable space small, <coughs> sorry, and variable component padding. Now, uh, so this means that uh, once you have generated your spacing scale values, then you have to apply them to your components and you can apply these values to, for example, paddings and uh, margins. Now, the component padding that you can see right here, and you can actually, you can change it if you want, is the value, is a, is a variable where that we use to store the padding of those uh, big blocky components of your layout. So just in case you don't want to remember which spacing value you were using, you can just store one of the spacing values into the component padding variable and then use it across your main um, blocky components. Perfect. Now, why is this system uh, useful? So what, what is the, uh, the usefulness and the power, the power of this system? Well, it's in how easy it is to um, handle the responsiveness of the whole uh, web project uh, using just these two variables here and editing these two variables or just one of them at specific uh, breakpoints. Let me show you an example. So right now we have a scale and uh, there is no uh, responsive rule applied, but I can change this by creating a new, uh, a new responsive rule. So for example, uh, uh, let's target the medium breakpoint and uh, I'm going to increase the space unit from 1 to 1.25 at the medium breakpoint and saving, uh, I'm saving the changes. Now, if we remove the, if we hide the sidebars, 
it read resides the window. Now you can see right here that something is happening. So past the uh, medium breakpoint, all the values of the spacing values uh, uh, are increased because we have changed the uh, space unit value. And uh, just so you, uh, just to make this 100% clear, this value is injected into all of the spacing variables, which means that if we take a look at one of our components, once again, the accordion. Now, if we resize the window, you can see right here that past a specific breakpoint, everything changes and um, the spacing values which are applied to different elements of these components change. So their value changes, is updated. Therefore, the whole, the whole component becomes responsive without the need to set a media query on the component itself. All, you, all we had to do was changing the base, uh, um, sorry, the space unit value at a specific breakpoint. Now, if you can see right here that also typography is changing, well, that's because we have another editor, uh, which is um, the typography editor. And if we check the type scale of the typography editor, we know that um, at the, the same breakpoint, we are increasing also the base size and the scale ratio of typography. Therefore, typography and spacing are changing at the same time. We just changed the values of two variables and everything, everything becomes um, responsive. Now, one final thing is that when you change these values here and you save your changes, you are actually affecting the values of the components, the Kodi House components as well. And this is true for all of our editors. You change the values, you save the changes, then you can go and check the, the components and they have been updated. Now, I think this covers uh, all the main features of this, uh, this tool. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.